paragraph pagination options are an important consideration, especially when you are working with a longer document. I've opened the document here and put in some random text, as you can see, and I've also added some paragraph spacing so we can see things a little bit clearer. clearer. Just to remind you, paragraph spacing is format paragraphs. On the indents and spacing tab, we can dial up the spacing that we want to work with here, and I've put in six points after each paragraph. So it makes it easy to see the spacing between the paragraphs. It makes it easy to, to determine where each paragraph begins and ends. So as I scroll this document down towards the bottom of the page, towards the page break, there's our page break. Incidentally, if I just double click there, you can see the page break disappears and it reverts to a line. This is useful if you want to save a little bit of space on your computer. Uh, I don't mean memory space, I mean it's just physical space on what you can see on the document. I like that, that open though. It sort of hides the margins and hides the white space. Okay, um, hopefully what you can see if I select this paragraph is that the paragraph actually splits itself over the page. That gives rise to what is called widows and orphans. Widows and orphans are the, um, the, the terminology used to, to describe this kind of effect where one line of a paragraph is either left by itself at the top of a page, that's a widow, so this line here is called a widow, or if it was the other way around and the first line was left at the bottom of the page, then that would be called an orphan. So that's widows and orphans. We've got a widow situation here. Really, that doesn't look very good, especially in a longer document where having a line by itself like that just doesn't look good when you're flicking the pages. So I'm going to show you a method of preventing that from happening. I'm going to work on all the text, so I'll just triple click in the margin, select, oops, trying that again, to select the whole document. Because remember, whatever you are working with, you, you know what you're doing, but the computer doesn't, so tell it which text you are working with. If I select now Format and Paragraph. You're familiar with the indents and spacing tabs. We're going to look at the line and page breaks tabs. Inside here we've got a number of options. The main one that we're interested in for this syllabus is the widow and orphan control. Although it's not selected there, by default it is. I switched this off earlier. So by default it would have the tick in the box. That means that the computer will control widows and orphans for us. I just click on OK. Now let's see if we can see the effect there. I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page where the page break was. We can see the computer's organized itself, so we've got a full paragraph at the bottom of that page and a full paragraph at the top of the second page. The widows and orphans have been controlled. Now I select the whole document again and go back into that option dialog box, format, paragraph, line and page breaks. That was the widow and orphan control. There are other features here that strictly aren't in the syllabus. Remember, you can always look things up by using the help feature. A couple of things very quickly though, just to give you a feel for what they do. Keep lines together. We'll keep not just the first line or the last line of the paragraph the widow and the orphan, but it will keep a whole paragraph together. If you had a paragraph with 20 lines, it would make sure all 20 lines were on the same page. The keep with next option is quite useful. If you've got two paragraphs of text that you know you always want to keep together on the same page, then you can select those two paragraphs of text and click on keep with next and that will make sure that those two paragraphs will never have a page break between them. 
And another useful feature is page break before. That will mean that wherever that paragraph is, the computer will put a page break just in front of that paragraph. So there's some really useful pagination effects there. You should never ever, now you know how to do that, have the situation where you've got widows and orphans. Just looks untidy.